Bring Me Java, Bring Me Joy, from Rackus Ladybug fanfiction, alternate cafe, alternate universe, chapter 4. I'm kind of nervous, Marinette admits as Ollie inspects her outfit once more. What if... What if the more he talks to me, the more he realizes I'm too weird and crazy, she says. Deep down, she knows that's not gonna happen. Marinette knows that Adrian really does want to get to know her more. Slight insanity and all, or else he would have bolted the second he found her doodles of a side profile. But because he didn't, and because he's yet to retract the offer to take her backstage during the music festival she's about to head to in T-30 minutes, Marinette... She knows that he does want to know her. But Marina is a warrior, and she always has been a warrior, and it spirals out of control, so she's panicking on the ground. You have literally no reason to be nervous, Alia says with a laugh. She puts her arms on Marinette's shoulder. From what you've told me, he's quite excited for you to come meet the rest of the band as well. And come on, think about it. He hasn't offered to any he hasn't offered the meet the band members to any of us, your friends and also their fans, has he? Clearly, you're special in his eyes, and I couldn't agree more. Alia laughs and adjusts Marinette's hair, making it look just, like, a little more adorably messy. You're just nervous, and you don't know- but you don't know what to expect. Just remember, there's no right way for this night to go. Either you and him flirt all night and sneak a kiss in, or he turns out to be some lizard at 9pm and you never have to see him again. Either way, it's a win-win situation, she says with a laugh. And the second scenario is so bizarre, it's hilariously horrifying. A lizard at 9 p.m. Marinette chokes without with a laugh. Alia shrugs, but not without a smirk. It's making you less terrified, isn't it? Well, Marinette certainly can't argue with that, with the veracity of that, can she? She truly thanks God every day for Alia. Without the nervousness... I think I'm pretty excited for it, Marinette admits, smiling a bit dreamily. Even if nothing comes from between her and Adrian, if she were if she was to grossly if she was grossly misinterpreting their every interactions in a way she had no idea was possible, it'd still be worth it to meet the bands of her the each member of her favorite local band and show them her support. That's my girl, Alia says proudly. When they arrive at the festival it's three twenty and it's very busy. There's currently a band on stage, and they sound pretty good. Not really in Marinette's music taste, but she can appreciate talented musicians when she hears them. She and Alia have yet to find the doors that Adrian has told her about, or Nadia and Kate, who are supposed to meet, who is supposed to be meeting him, them at the doors. Marinette looks around, worried she had just missed the doors, but that should be hard, considering Adrian said it was big and had multiple bodyguards standing there for the protection of the bands. Did he say it was on the left side or the right side of the stage? Ollie muttered to her, and all Marinette can do is shrug. Finally, a small opening by the bottom right of the stage catches her eyes. That must be the place. There are two guards and a third heading over there, and some people she can only assume are guests to the festival. I think I found a door, Marinette says, looping her arms with Ollie and heading them over. As they get closer, though, Marinette can hear the conversation between the bodyguards and one of the girls. She looks fuming, constantly turning to her friend, and they seem to urge her on. The guard, however, seems to be getting more and more stern, and it serves Marinette to make and it serves to make Marinette a bit more nervous. They're all talking a bit louder than needed for a normal conversation. She winces as she gets closer. It's definitely not a pretty scene. Everyone involved seems pretty angry. You can't be serious. Ma'am, this is for their safety. Safety? Are you kidding me? This has to be some dumb joke. Safety. What do you think I'm going to do? Murder some unsuspecting band dude? I just want to meet my favorite guitarist and I'll be out of there in a flash. You can't possibly tell me that no one's allowed backstage. I saw the backstage passes on sale on your website, so don't you dare think you can lie to me. Marinette winces, and she's not even the one being shouted at. Personally, she thinks the girl has no business getting all worked up like the gu like this. Guards are for her, for her safety, and she should understand that some band members can have genuinely unstable fans that would that want to do God knows what to them. And unless you have one of those passes or have your name written down on our sheet, we cannot allow you to come through. 
This is utterly ridiculous, the girl shouts before huffing off. The cry gains some att the attention of many people around them, and they look perplexed as the girl storms off to wherever else. Probably just to vent again to her, the friend that was watching the entire encounter. Some people are so entitled, Alia says, shaking her head. No, I see Nadia and Kate. I'll let you get through the doors and text me when you get to them, Alia says with a wink. Marinette face palms. Marinette's face pales, but before she could open her mouth and freak out about trying to get through the door, after that little display, she swears they'll kick her back the second she speaks a single word. But Ollie just chuckles and shakes her head. Adrian said that you just need to tell them who you're with, right? Chances are, he wrote your name on whatever sheet of paper they were talking about. You'll be fine, and I'm sure, and I think he'd appreciate me not watching you like a hawk the first time around. I'll save the terrorizing until after you start going out. The last sentence makes Marinette go red, and Alia walks away to meet up with their friends, laughing her head off. Marinette only playfully rolls her eyes at her best friend. Hi, um, I'm here for Adrian Negras. He, he said to say his name. He's, he's from 20K, KS17, Marinette says, biting her lip. The guard sizes her up before looking through the list of names, or what she assumes to be the list of names, and then turns back to her. What is your relation? He says gruffly. Oh, well, um, that's a question she did not mentally prepare for, or prepare for at all. What does she say? It's not like she can say, oh, I'm just his uh, customer from work turned friend in the past couple of weeks, because that'll be one quick turn of away. She can't very well say she's family, because they obviously look nothing alike, and because it feels a little creepy to say so in her mind. So what on earth does she say? I'm his girlfriend. It tumbles out of her mouth before she can even come close to stopping it. All she can do is try and not let the visual horror and shock wash over her face that would clearly tip the guard off that it's a lie. He looks at her suspiciously in the back to the list. Alright, he's in green room three, or six. The man says, opening the door for her to walk through. Meredith is genuinely surprised that that worked and that there is no showing. Though she did have her actually have her name on the sheet, she wasn't sprouting and, and she wasn't sprouting entitled nonsense like the other girl was. So, screaming probably wasn't even on the table for her. The backstage area seemed fairly nice. As she walks past all the green rooms, they look mostly the same, just with a few different sizes and colors of chairs, tables, and couches. One green room even has an entire microphone set. She can only guess that it's for a band of talented singers. It doesn't take long for her to find the green, find green room six. Thankfully, and when she gets there, she gingerly knocks on the door. It's a few moments later that she hears the handle turning and there's a big grinning face in front of her. The guy standing in front of her is definitely not Adrian. He's a big man with a solid build with black hair and one yellow streak in it. His expression seems kind, but a little gruff. If anything, he turns around and calls out, Adrian, your girlfriend's here. Marinette's face goes burning hot, and she notices a little eraser hit the guy in the back of the head, something that he just laughs off. Don't mind him, he's just flustered since Marcus called us down to let us know that you were coming, he says. As Adrian walks by, he mutters something under her, his breath directed right at the guy, and Marinette can only stand awkwardly by. Hey, he says with a bright smile. Glad you were able to make it, he tells her. She smiles back. Me too. I couldn't find the doors for a while, but then I figured it out. She laughs. Good to hear, Adrian says. Meet the other, mem meet the other members of 20KS17, he says, motioning to all the people with his arm. That? Ivan, the goof that opened the door for you. Rose, who is our vocalist, Julika and her brother, and I all switch off with guitar, bass, and piano, depending on what the song is, Adrian says, pointing to each person. You come into the shop sometimes, Julika comments. There's the slightest hint of a smile on her face, more than she's ever seen before in the coffee house. Nice to actually meet you, she tells him. Nice to actually meet you, too, Marinette says with a friendly grin. They all fall into whatever conversation they were in before, but this time she found a way to slot in, taking a seat on the couch next to Adrian, 
and listening as everyone talks and laughs and debates about what their best and worst songs of the set are. It's fairly entertaining, and it's even funnier when Jilika and her brother squabble in a sibling sort of way. So, um, Marcus, you get to call and let us know that you're on your way? And he mentioned you as my girlfriend, Adrian says in a low voice. There's a sweet, slightly nervous, but playful smile on his face, and Marinette buries her head in her hands out of embarrassment. But you can he still hear his twinkles of laughter. I'm not mad, I swear, I just... His arms are up in surrender, and she looks back up. Well, well, some girl was in front of us trying to go backstage, and they kind of got in an argument because she's upset about the security. Marinette explains, pressing her cheeks to get rid of the redness. When he asked me about what my relationship with you was that I got my name on the list, I kind of panicked and blurted bl bl out that I was your girlfriend, Marinette says with an embarrassed laugh. Really? He says, and she nods. Well, I guess that kind of saves me from needing to officially ask you, the blonde says, rubbing the back of his neck. Now that catches Marinette off guard. She can't even reply. She just stares at him, totally gaping in shock. She can see Adrian's face go red before she realizes what she's saying, and she says, Hey, no, I'm not the only one who's all red. Adrian chuckles at her little comment. That's true, he says, slowly but unsurely reaching for her hand. I like you a lot for a person I've only met a month ago or so, he admits to her. I think I li might like you more. Marinette jokes, but it's not far from the truth. I mean, I have the drawing as proof, she jokes. And a really good one at that, Adrian says honestly. Thank you. She squeezes his hand and she, he squeezes it back. Her head is spinning a little bit. She just went from telling a guard that they were dating to let her in and now actually dating him? They get to even go on a date. Maybe she should be the one to bring it up, since he was brave and bold and asked her. Or told her. Are you? Marinette's nervous. She's never done this before. Normally the boy she goes out with asks her first and she says yes and goes along with it. But she really does want this and t wants to take this initiative. Are you busy on Saturday? She asks him. I'm open after free, he tells her. Would you like to go for a date then? His smile is so wide and bright, it's blinding her. I'd love nothing more. Marinette feels a little bit like an idiot, grinning so hard that, like she's a teenage schoolgirl again. But Adrian is just as overjoyed, so she doesn't feel foolish. Besides, what's actually foolish about feeling happy and being excited to be with someone who makes you laugh and is so easy to talk to? You love birds, Julika says from the other side of the room. Her tone is dark and playful, but Marinette decides that they will be really good friends. On a real note, Adrian, we'll have a sound check in a couple minutes, so wrap your romance up. Adrian nods and brings her hand up to kiss her knuckle. God, Marinette could faint because she had no idea that a gentleman like this still exists. I hope you like the show. I'll make sure that you get the front row. Marinette now decides that she's very excited to be Rockstar's girlfriend, and Adrian is going to do so good tonight.